Hi, this is Patrick with Gettysburg Flagworks. I wanted to take a look at our grave markers today, show you some of the different fit and finish options that are available, and how to use them. Let's take a closer look. The first one we're going to look at is the printed resin marker. It has a high quality, full color face with fine, accurate detail. It's very solid with a good thickness to the edges and is black on the back. The stake is all aluminum construction with a step down design. On the top are two plastic holes for mounting your flag. These will hold up to 3 eighths of an inch diameter stick flag. The pointed bottom of the stake goes directly into the ground. Next is our solid bronze grave marker, a really high end premium marker. It has three dimensional raised detail with beautiful lettering and roping around the edges. Looking at the back, you have tabs to hold the flag and a bottom tab to accommodate the pole. Putting the pieces together, you take your pole with the threading at the top and screw it into the bottom of the marker. Now it's ready to go into the ground. Finally, we have an aluminum World War II marker. This aluminum marker has really fine 3D raised detail with a powder coated paint finish. The face has been ground down to bring out some detail and shine. Looking at the back, it has tabs to hold your flag, the bottom tab to hold the pole. Once you screw your pole into the bottom, your marker is ready to be placed into the ground. So for our final step, I'm gonna show you how to put the marker into the ground and add the flag to it. As you remember on the back, there's these two tabs that are meant to hold the flag. So you're gonna place your marker and push it gently into the ground a few inches. It'll stand up on its own without tipping over. You're gonna slot your flag into the back and your marker now displays the flag proudly for your deceased loved one. Thanks for checking this video out. To sign up for our half-staff newsletter, please remember to check us out at gettysburgflag.com.